We all make mistakes. Some are small, some are large. But his mistake, born of innocence, fueled by pride, was the greatest and most terrible of them all. Some believed when the prince journeyed to the island of time to escape death, that he returned alone. The amulet destroyed. The Dahaka appeased. The Empress dead. The prince was free at last. But this is not how it happened. The truth is that he chose to save me from my destiny. In doing so, he set me free. And doomed us all. Prince, of all the possible futures, this one held the most promise, but something has changed. Do not worry, Kailina. No harm will come to you in Babylon. I promise. Look, we are nearly home. As our ship lay sinking in the harbor, the prince found himself in a city quite different from the one he left behind. The normally busy wharves were now decimated. Blood-spattered awnings and splintered door frames were all that waited to greet him. And the people, merchants, beggars, fishermen, were nowhere to be found. Others had taken their place. The prince made his way along the torn and blasted district, haunted by visions from his past. The dockside tavern where he'd spent many late nights was now reduced to cinders. Babylon's proud armada, which he would often come to greet, lay cracked and broken, cast to the bottom of the Euphrates. Everywhere there are signs of battle, but what of Babylon's guard? Where have they all gone?
Should I continue from here? I will continue my story from here next time. Why is it that every time disaster strikes, I find myself without a proper blade? Still, it's better than nothing. Lena. No! No way into the city now. I will have to climb this siege tower and enter from above. Yeah. 
can sense the others who have passed through this place, intent on bringing harm to my family. Four weeks I've been at sea, and every day spent dreaming of my return to Babylon. But never, in all my visions of the future, did I suspect a homecoming such as this. War. It is the only answer. But war with who? And why? Is this where I should resume? Good. This is a fine place to start the tale next time. You should know that it was not love that drove him, but duty. I was his responsibility. He had made a promise, a promise that was now broken and undone. As with all mistakes he had made, the prince meant to fix this. A noble goal to be certain, but a selfish one as well for he was motivated to ease his own pain. I know these streets. Knew them anyway. I must keep pace with Kylina if I am to find the one responsible for this.
Continue my story from here if you are called away. Where is kind Asha, who would stand before her stall selling fruits and flowers? Or the errant children, making trouble as all young ones do? Gone. All gone. This where I should reasonably will continue my story from here next time. Home. And yet nothing is as I remember. Objects once familiar and comforting now fill me with uncertainty and dread. What has happened here?
I should be resting now, recovering from my time away, or sitting with father. Instead, I'm forced to run and hide, sneaking about like a common thief, hunted in my own city. Should I continue to it? This is a fun place to start the tale next time. attention to what the prince overheard as he drew close to where I was being kept.
It's alright. Hush.